good afternoon students so today we are going today we are going to start with our next topic in microsoft word 2016 so i hope that some of the topics that we have learned to yesterday was clear to you so those topics were we have seen how the word to talk what is word 2016 that means why we use this software what are the different things that we can create with the help of this software then we have seen what are the different new features that has been added in what 2016 such as there were new features like tell me features there are smart lookups there are new shapes that has been added the sharing options we got like we can share our documents with some coworkers and there were these were the you know new features that has been added to this what 2016 then we see a look on the word interface and then we have seen how we can work with the word environment so that working with word environment includes like what are the commands that we can use how to access some quick access toolbar with the help of that we can see the new commands or we can quickly use those commands and apart from then at the last we have seen the back access view that shows the complete information about our document so these were our yesterday's topic so today we are going to learn about the word files so basically today we are going to work on word files how we can create them how we can save them and if there are already an existing ones so how we can open those documents today we are going to learn all these topics so let's start with our today's topic so first one is to create a new blank document so yesterday we have seen when we search for a word so when we search a word document so how we can go to a word software so what we have to do is we have to simply type word in our search bar and then there would be this option we will get our word and you have to just double click it so once you click it so that word software will get open so here are the options that we discussed yesterday as well that if we have some recent open document or recently created so we will get those list over here here we will get the menu that some of the quick access thing and here are the things from where we can either create our document so to create a new blank document what we have to do is we have to simply click on double click on this blank document So once you click on that, so this document would be created. So I hope you are able to see this screen, which shows a newly blank created document over here. Now let's type something so that we can start checking on that how we are creating the document and how we can open. So let's say we are uh, writing an application to our principal. So what we start is to Let's say X Y Z school, and then we write the subject that what is this application regarding. So let's say we are uh, writing an application for uh, a lease. So we will uh, write in subject requesting. Requesting one day leave. And then we start with and enter. So basically, this is how we write an application when we are working with a word. So you have to simply type whatever you are. you want to write over in a document and uh, after this this new document would be created so this is the first method by which you can create a new document now in this document we have to write everything so to get it on a shortcut word provides you another method so that method includes that you can simply that is a second method that is which says to create a new blank document okay 
so now there is another method so this was the first one we go on to the and to a blank document and then we create it now there is another method by which you can create it and that method is you simply click on file menu once you click on file menu so there is an option that is new so once you click on this option the new document would be created so what you have to do is you have to simply click on this you double click on this then again you will get the all these options and you have to simply click on this so another blank document would be created so this is the second method by which we can create our blank document now we have another method that is how we can create a document from existing sentence so for that what we have to do is again you have to go to file menu over here now you are you must be looking from templates so these are some of the templates that what provides you by default apart from this there are some other templates as well what you have to do is you have to just click on more templates so once you click on this more templates so you can see so once you click on more template so you can see there are multiple templates that are being shown so whatever the content you want to create let's say i was writing an application so what i can do is over here in this over here this is a search bar so with this help you can search for the template that you want to use for your document so here let's say i i was looking for a template for some application so i would write application and thus then i would just hit enter so it will show me like these are some message search which include like applicant is applying for a job or something okay so these are the some of the recommended uh, out of the box you can say some of the template so let's say we are writing for a letter or something so let's double click on it so a preview would be shown and then the document would be created let me just clear this thing for you yeah. so now in this you can clearly see that a letter an application is automatically created so this is just a sample one if you want to change in it like you want you have to add your name over here then your address then your city if you don't want these details so you can simply click on delete key and that particular details will be deleted so um, this is the default text so you have to just simply like this is a cover letter for someone's cv so what you have to do is you have to just add the company name for which he was looking for the course he has attended for this particular job and some of his achievements like what was his gpa the in your case it could be a simply a percentage what are his areas of excellence that means his core skills like if like you are studying in sixth class so might be there would be some subject that you are much interested in like suppose some of the students would like science some of them would like mathematics some of them would be interested in computer so those skill areas you can mention in that and then at last you have to just add your phone number and your email address rest of the document is already created so this is the best thing of the template that it provides you a small you know kind of freely existing document which has all the necessary thing and you have to just make the changes that you required as per your document so these were the two ways by which we can create a document in word so the first one was to create a new blank document so for that what we have to do is we have to simply click on new and then we have to select the blank document and if we are looking for some pre existing one so we have to select from any template like over here in this presentation we have chosen this 
flyer. So we search for flyer and we got this, this one, this one, and this one as a suggestion. So we can select any of this for our flyer and then we can change the text in there. Apart from this, like it was shown that it will display you the recommended ones, whatever the template you will select. So it will show you a display like this document would be created like this. And once the document, if you prefer that, yes, you have to use this template, you have to simply click on this, create. So once you click on it, that template would be created. Apart from that, here there you would get different categories in which your flyer is associated. So, for more clarity, let's see in the world. So we go to the file, sorry for the interruption. So we go to the file and again we will look for the more template. Then in the search, we will look for flyer and we will press enter. So once you do it, so you can see that those were the templates that we are getting over there. So here are some of the flyers like three, four, this one. And suppose you want to select this basketball player, so you will select one, you will, so when you press it one, it will show you that this flyer would be look like this. And when you double click on it, Double click on it, that flyer would be just a second. Left. Once I click on create, so it will download for me and it will create this file. So now you can see that this, it has created this required flyer. And if I want to change in it, so I can simply select the particular text like over here. It is asking for a date of month, so I can write like 09. So this would be the date and in the month I can write let's say August. So this is a small one. So you can simply write whatever, you can simply change in the template with the help of writing text and you don't need to design at all. So this flyer you will get a get automate out of the box from Word and you have to simply just make the text changes or some images if you want. So you can simply add those as per your request. Then now we will look into how we can open a document in Word. So basically like over here in a Word you will go. So in the file tab we have to go to file tab again. You click on the file tab. So in this file tab, you are getting one option. You will see this option open. So once you go to so. Here is a op open option. What you have to do is you have to simply click on this open and then you can see the list of 
recently open document over here like the and if you want to open any of the documents you have to simply double click on that and that particular document would be open like suppose i want to open this performa so i'll okay I, this document doesn't exist that's why it's showing that performa is not there i go to open let's say i want to open this covid paper i just double click on it and this particular document would be open so this is the way you can open a document from recent one and if you want to open your document by browsing your computer so what we have to do is you have to simply click on this browse button then a pop up will be asked a dialog box will open and over here you can select the location from where you want to select the document let's say i want to go to the e drive in a e drive let's say there is another one let's see if there is some document i don't have any document in there we have seen if we want to open an existing document how we can simply open now let's see how we can save our word document so what we have to do is like suppose this was this was the application we were writing now we want to save this document you can clearly see that the document hasn't been saved as it is showing the name as document 1 just at the top of this document so what we have to do is to save a document as either you can click on this file you have to click on this file and there you will get a option save so once you click on a save option So once you click on save, so it will ask where do you want to save your document. So here are some of the recent locations that we are where we have saved our document. Or if you don't want to save in any of the location, so what you have to do is simply you have to again click on this browse. Then you have to select the location where do you want to save your uh, this current document either in a D drive or on your desktop. So simply you can type here as desktop. and then here you can save with a name whatever the name you want to save let's say i want to save it with the name of app i have to simply write and then just click enter now you can see that the name of the document is changed over here earlier it was showing as document 1 now it is showing as app so this way you can save your document in word this is first method and uh, another method to save your document is there is a shortcut key so what you can do is you can simply see there is a this type that is just above that file menu so if you click on this save icon this icon is for save which is representing as a memory like if you have seen uh, the graphics of uh, uh, some floppy disk or something in your Class is in computer class. If you have seen the devices in a printed form, like generally they show the picture, like how a hard disk look alike, how a mouse mouse look like. So this represents as a save. So when you click on it, so your document would be saved. Okay. So these are the two ways by which you can save your document. Then another one is how to use 
save as to make a copy. So how we can do it is simply what we have to do is we have to go to file and then there is an option is save as. So when you click on this save as option, so again either you want to save it with a, any of these locations or if you want to browse, so simply you have to click on browse. So by default it is taking with the desktop and with the same name the document we have saved. Now let's suppose I want to save it with different name. So what I would do is I would uh, let's say I am giving it name as app two. And when I click on save, so you will see the name of the document is changed to app two. And if you look at this, so I have two documents over here. So those documents are one is with the name of app and second one is with the name of app. So both the documents will exist and if you check, so you can simply check that when I open this app, so you can see that the earlier content that this document has, it is over there in the app file and also there is another file with the name of app 2. So this is how you can save your file by making it a different copy. If you want to save it in a different format, so again what you have to do is simply go to your file, go to your save as, then browse, simply over here you can see that it is asking for save as type. So this save as type contains a list of types in which in those format you can save your document. So what you have to do is you have to simply click on it. So you can see that these are the multiple options. In these format I can save my existing document. So let's say I want to make it a PDF, so I will click on PDF and simply click on save. So once I click on it, so I'll go back to my desktop. Over here you can see that there is a PDF file with the name of app. Let's open it. So you can see this is this app 2 is now opened in my PDF application and it has the same content that our Word document has. So this is how you can create uh, multiple copies of your document in, in different formats. So you can either save it in a PDF format or some in with the same other name or might be in like uh, XPS document, uh, XML document. So there are multiple formats that you can make for your particular current document on which you are working with. So this all we have seen. So this is all for today. So I am just repeating what we have learned today. So basically today we have seen how we can create a new blank document. So there are two ways that we have seen. Either we can go to the file menu and then go to new, then we can create or we can directly when you open our world. So there is directly an option of a blank document. So we can create a new blank document from there. Then we have seen how we can create a document with the help of three existing templates. So there are some multiple templates like we have seen how to create a flyer with a pre existing template. What we have to do is we have to simply search whatever we are looking for and then there would be some of the options that would be presented by the world. And then what we have to do is we have to simply select that particular template and then our document would be created. Then we see how we can open an existing document. What we have to do is we have to go to file menu again. And then there is an option of open. We have to click on open. Then it will ask for us from where we want to open a document. And then from there we can select the document that we want to open. And that open that document will be open. Then we have seen how we can save our document. So there are again two ways. Either we can go to the file menu, and from there we can simply click on save, and then can save our uh, document. Or either we can use the quick access toolbar. Over there, we will get a save icon and we can simply click on that and then our document will be saved. At last, we have seen how we can make a different copy of our document. So for that, what we have done is we have chosen save as option. With the help of that, we can create multiple copies, also with a multiple name and we can make it in different format as well. So, that's all for today, students. Hope you have enjoyed this session. Keep looking into the Learn Forward app for more updates and more. Thank you, students. Have a good day.